So we want to load this family into this menu on this project. The project is called, in this case, um, Essential Components as a Revit file. It's a Revit project. So let's do with that. We're going to load this family here. So to do that, we need to create a family file. How we can do that? We have the option to open a new file and uh, sorry, create a new file, new one, and instead of project, we're going to create a family. So let's do that. Create a family, and we have a templates. The templates normally came from default, and you will be addressed straight away to this, uh, to this, uh, to this folder. But if you are not having this uh, template, you will find that uh, in your in your Revit uh, folder, normally call it uh, RAC 2011 and metric templates in the subfolder metric templates. So in the subfolder metric templates, we're going to use uh, metric furniture, uh, sorry, uh, metric generic model, this one. So you have another template you can use, but this is the most common, the most common one. So let's, let's select this one. It's a family, family extension. And it's come up with a two axis, is X and Y. And that allows also to see the file in 3D. We will see, we will see now. Open this template and that's come up to a family uh, file. So these are a different options we have here in the menu. You see, we can edit this family. We can create extrusion, blend, revolve, and different 3D uh, editions of this file. So let's let's just in, insert a DWG file. So how we can insert that? We're gonna go into insert, import CAD, and we have we're gonna find in my case is DWG blocks that I have these blocks that I want to import. I download that from internet. Uh, it's in many many places that you can download DWG 3D samples. Uh, uh, in this case, our furniture for a house, and we can choose um, a sofa or a bed or whatever. In this case, I'm gonna choose. Uh, let me see, the sofa. It's a chair actually. It's an armchair. So I wanna choose this armchair. See that is an orange. This is because the layer originally is um, is a uh, is doing is done in the in the orange color the layer, but doesn't matter. We can we can import this file uh, by doing uh, that by putting this option colors black and white. This is important because otherwise we're gonna see this um, this layer in orange into into a black and white file and maybe we don't want to have this option. So the, uh, I prefer to put that in black and white. Layers all layers. Um, let's let's select that uh, units auto detect. Uh, we can also uh, we can also put uh, millimeters or centimeters or whatever we have uh, here in UK. We use normally millimeters, but we got, we we leave that in auto detect, and then we can scale later on the the model into the family file. Uh, positioning auto center to center, or we can put that manually whatever you want, I choose out to center to center and place at um, a reference level. That means it will be up here on the reference level. So the orient, orient view, that means the, the file will, will, will orient it as, as, as the view is oriented. This is oriented in the north side, so uh, it's automatically detected also. And we just open the file. Um, here says the import geometry will not be visible in the view using the current settings. The original, the, ori the origin of the import will be centered on the origin of the model instead. You can view the import in any views where its geometry is within the extent. So that means the the file, the DWG file, is uh, centered in in different origin and actually is out of scale too. So is another warning message. It does, doesn't matter. Just close on that and try to uh, zoom to fit. 
So actually, the um, if you see zoom to fade doesn't doesn't happen anything. Uh, sorry, zoom to fade and doesn't appear. So we can check that in 3D. Open the 3D view. This is the 3D view. We can open here or just go here and see the view in 3D and see the object is over there. So normally the object is out of scale or is placed in a different point of the of the of the plan. Uh, so sometimes we we will miss the object, but the, the object is still there. So let's let's click zoom to fit in this uh, view, this 3D view. Remember, so we have here our uh, armchair, and it's in black and white. It's not in orange, so that's good. And let position uh, put this uh, the position of this sofa into the center of the axis. So how we do that? First, first of all, we need to check what is the dimension of this sofa. See uh, what is the dimension of this sofa. You can go into um, check the dimension here. Let me see. Um, where is the dimension? Uh, sorry, couldn't find the dimension anyway. So. Anyway, yeah, we can we we need to measure that uh, into in, from the plant. Actually, this is a 3D, so we come back to the um, to the floor plan and see if we can find again some to fit. No, it's not here. So we will see if we back again to or originally here we are. So we leave that selected. And back to the plan and zoom out. So if we zoom out, it's not appearing in the way. Anyway, we're going to scale that numerically from this to 10 times bigger, maybe, and see what happens in the file, in the plan. Still not appearing. So, we'll see if we can reduce instead of, instead of reduce the size of this sofa. And reduce that scale numerically and 0.01. Now we have a very small one. Let me see. Fit. There you are. So this one trick is with the scale. You must be take care about that. Maybe I doing some mistake with the scaling. If you are more proficient than me, you will realize that the what I did wrong. So let's zoom in to the to the file, to the object, sorry. And now we can check what is the dimension of this sofa in plan? So in 2D. In 2D, we have this, uh, the option of measure the, the object. So from here to here, should be around a normal armchair have 600 mils. So this is quite big, it's 20, 27 meters. So we need to reduce the size, the length of, the, of this furniture. So how we do that? And again, scale. Scale graphically, I think it's much easier at this stage, and put the number, just click, just uh, input the numbers from the keyboard. It's a 600, press enter, and here we are, it's a 600, uh, sorry, it was 2 meters, 2.7 2. meters before, now it's 600, 600 meters wide. So that's okay, that's the 600, that's, that's the size that we want to have, and we can check uh, if the side the side view is okay, so we can put the side view here as the bottom on the level zero. So this is important to, to place a family, I think. Front view, left and right. So this is the whole views that come from the came from the fault in the family in the family template. Well, that was a template that we opened before, but now we want to load into family. Actually, before loading into family, we're gonna save this file 
as a family. So we can use that in many, many projects. The, if, you, if, you, if you want to use that in another project, you can load into the project later on. Uh, just call, uh, call into this family, especially to this family, to this uh, particular sofa. Uh, so we can put a, a name on this file. So I just press save, save, and I will save that as a family. I have another family here. I will put, um, I will name that uh, arm chair sofa, sofa, we will put, uh, we will put a zero, zero, 001, just to put a, just to put a name and read that the RBG because it's a, a family, family file that will convert in family file. So we can call from any, 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 any other family projects. Save that. The options uh, doesn't matter at this stage. Just uh, leave that as it is. Actually, yeah, I think it's preferable to put 3D as a preview. So we can preview that file in 3D. That's much better to recognize what is the what is the file that we can we we can we will call. Um, so. Let's do OK and let's save and load into the project. So the project is already open. So that's the reason because if you have two projects loaded into the same um, into the same uh, uh, into the same Revit open, uh, when we load this, uh, it's a Windows come up that will ask ask uh, what uh, what is the project that we want to load this family. So in this case, it's just one. So by default. Will we load in the in the in the file that we have open already? So there you are. The family is already stick on the on the cursor. Uh, if it's not, you can you will you will found that uh, in the generic mode. This is an M chain sofa zero zero one that we saved just a few minutes ago, uh, a few seconds ago. So I will put that in this place because, well, you can put it whatever you want, but. Just to show in in this tutorial uh, that we wanna we gonna we gonna see a check where is uh, the furniture placed uh, in the section that I have already here. So this is the our our armchair, and this is our family. We can place many many times as we want. Just drag the file, drag the family here, so we can put up. Sorry, it's not the best place to put that. Uh, uh, you can put a sofa here, okay. We have another another sofa already there. Doesn't matter. I think it's a different sofa. It's a chair actually, so we can rotate that and just accommodate as you, you want at 45 degrees or whatever. And uh, you can copy and multiply or whatever you want. So and just. Just uh, in regard to check how is the sofa, uh, we can go to this section, which is already open actually. Let me see. Yeah, it's here. So there you are. This is our sofa. And um, and the dimensions are the desirable dimensions that we want to at the beginning. This is 100. We can check that. From here, I think. Let me see. Yeah, measure. So we can choose this tool. Sorry. Let's see, 600 wide. So it's the same, the same scale. 